If you guys want to win a copy of the Ultimate Edition of FIFA 19 worth around $100, all you need to do is leave a like on the video, leave a comment down below, and subscribe to my channel. Do those three things, that'll enter you into the giveaway, and I'll be sending a copy to one of you guys when the game's released. Hey guys, it's Wear here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys some players that you need to buy before it's too late to make yourself thousands and thousands of coins with the upcoming footies promo on FIFA 18. So if you guys do enjoy the video, if you do, don't forget to leave a like on it. Also, if you guys are new around here, don't forget to subscribe, and without further ado, let's go on into it. So last year the footies promo started on the 7th of July and ended on the 18th of August, meaning it lasted around 6 weeks in total and was the final big promo of FIFA 17. This year I expect it will be released around the same kind of dates and it should last a similar amount of time as well. I also expect it will be the final promo of FIFA 18, so for that reason there's going to be quite a lot of hype around it and if you guys invest in the right players, which I'm going to show you in this video, you will be able to make yourself some guaranteed profit. So the main things to expect during the footies promo are footies winners and footy nominees SPCs. Now we had 10 different categories last year for fan favourite players. These varied on the whole they were for specific positions across the pitch. For example I believe Jack Butland won the goalkeeper category. We also had Trapp and Begovic nominated there. You had centre backs. I believe Smalling won that one and we basically had three different players for each of these different categories and they were the really kind of popular overpower players over the course of the game. I believe the players couldn't have had a team of the season card and they had to have had uh, under two informs so for example Martial he got a couple of informs so he wasn't included even though he was a very popular player last year for that reason we may actually not see Lozano despite him being a huge fan favorite this year he may not be included in at the voting but I expect we're going to see the really overpowered and popular players on this game the people you see in a lot of the champions teams back Yoko for example I think he'll definitely be included Martial could as well as he hasn't had uh, any informs this year so that's a good shout. And these players, for each different category, we see three nominees SBCs. Now these give out a player just with a different card design. They just have a pink card design that is in the FIFA 18 database. So we know this promo is going to be released. No different stats. But if you complete the SBC, which normally has quite a low rating, like 78, 79, it counts as a vote for that player. The SBCs are available, I believe, for 24 or 48 hours. And whoever's had the most votes, so whoever's had the SBC completed the most times, win the category and then has a footies winner SBC card released again via an SBC and it will be a higher rated card with some boosted stats normally kind of a plus two or plus three overall a pretty similar to a probably a second inform because they have more of a boost than just a standard inform and that card is then available for a similar amount of time I believe 24 or 48 hours and to complete it depending on the player depending on their rating and stats you'd need anything from an 82 up to like an 85 or 86 rated squad overall and you also needed at least one footies uh, nominee card so you'd have obviously had to have voted for a player to complete one to get a card to submit into that SBC. That's how it worked last year. This year I expect it will be pretty similar although we may also potentially see uh, different informs or special cards required in the SBCs and maybe a slightly higher rating as so many cards right now are very very cheap on the game across the board because the World Cup game mode players are very very cheap. Last year we also saw end of an era cards for loads of players. I think Totti got one. We had Xabi Alonso, Philip Lahm, um, I think Dirk Coit as well. There were quite a few different players and they were released every week or so I believe. We had two new cards. They had crazy, crazy high ratings. I think Totti was 96 overall and had some mental stats, quite a few 99s. I mean, the cards were just amazing and they weren't too expensive to complete. We're looking at like 100 to 200k for insanely high rated players. And I think we're probably going to see a similar thing this year for players who have retired. So I think Kaka may have retired this year. And there are a couple of other players who are currently on the game uh, who have retired. And we will most likely see these end of an era cards uh, released with the footies promo. I think we have already had one for Kaka and Pirlo though over the course of this game. So we may have a high rated version of those. And there may just be some other ones added in for other players who have retired this year so that's another thing to expect and we also saw marquee transfer SBCs and these gave you a loan version of a player who'd completed a big transfer so last year we had loads of huge transfers uh, Neymar being the marquee one we had like Bernardo Silva uh, Salah obviously as well um, and lots of other different players they also had those SBCs released and that is all we had 
in last year's promo. I expect this year it's going to be a little bit different. They will keep those same SBCs, I expect, but they will probably also add in some new stuff just to mix up and to add some more content to the game. But the main thing we're going to be looking at is investments for the footies and end of an era SBCs. So because of the fact these SBCs are going to require quite high ratings, varying from 82 up to around 85 or 86, the best investments to pick up are going to be high rated gold cards. And right now they're just so, so cheap, making them the perfect investments. Although I will also be showing you guys some special card investments that will also be able to make you a good amount of coins. So I'm using Footbin, I'll leave a link down below to them. And they've got a filter that shows all of the cheapest players for specific ratings and it is so, so useful. Right now you can get 83 rated players for around 750 coins. That is just ridiculously cheap. 84 rated cards for about 1000 coins. You're looking at about 3k for 85s and going even higher rated, you can get 87 rated players like Hamshik and Terstegen for about 8k and even higher rated still, the likes of Courtois and David Silva, 89 rated players for about 15k and they will be really, really good investments for some of those end of an era SBCs. But the main players I'd recommend investing in are 83s, 84s and 85s as they're the most useful and will fit into the majority of different formulas for those 83, 84 and 85 rated teams which are probably going to be the most most common for some of the footies SBCs. So let's just get straight on into it right now. We're going to start off with the 83s. Consigli is one of the cheapest ones. You've got loads and loads of players all around a similar price point. And I'd recommend using the site. Just go through and find some other players. So right now, as you guys can see, 750 coins for a Consigli. And uh, that's just so, so cheap. You could easily see a player like that double in value. And I expect across the board, we're going to see these players pretty much all double in price. And uh, you'll be able to make some really, really nice coins on them. I know a lot of people currently aren't really playing the regular version of Ultimate Team. So many people are playing the World Cup mode. And that means you guys can hop on, get some really, really good investments, just like we're getting right here. Uh, Raul Albiol, he's a little bit too expensive. We're not going to go with him. But you can get some crazy investments. And then when the hype around the World Cup mode starts to die off, and people come back to the regular version of Ultimate Team, these players will then rise up and you guys will have made some really, really nice investments. Um, so Carvalho, again, is a little bit too expensive just because this site takes a while to update sometimes, so you may not always see uh, kind of the cheapest players that this is. Uh, let's go with Hideki, that's another quite cheap one. Goalkeepers are generally the cheaper players if you look at them. You'll find that across the board they're the cheaper uh, cards normally for these ratings. So for example, Hideki you can get really, really cheaply, like 750 coins. Yeah, you can get him so, so cheaply. This is an 83 rated card and he's going pretty much for discard price. So that's another player who is guaranteed to rise up a really good amount of coins. He plays in a good league, so that gives him a good reason to increase in value as you can link him to lots of good players, so that's always a good one. Uh, if we look at some 84 rated players, you've got the likes of Ralph Farman. He's going for one point. 1k according to Footbin. So let's quickly check him. And uh, he looks to be a little bit more there. 1.2. You've got a card there. You can pick that up. And again, I expect that player will easily double in value. Uh, Bruno, the non rare centre mid from Villarreal, he's apparently going for about 1.2k. Uh, if he is, that is a crazy, crazy deal because he is a midfielder, he's Spanish, he plays in La Liga. Wow, wow, that is a, just such a good investment. I think he's probably one of the best ones here. A really good thing about him is he's non-rare and a lot of people will think of 84 rated cards and they'll think of him as a non-rare and they'll think they'll make him a little bit cheaper. Although normally it doesn't because more people kind of pack rare cards than non-rares since a lot of people are opening special packs right now. But people just think he's a non-rare, he'll be cheap, they look him up and they buy him. So I think Bruno... I mean, 1.3k, he's an outfield player, he's not a goalkeeper, he's by far the cheapest outfield player, he's Spanish, he plays in La Liga, you can link him to lots of players, he is such a good investment, he's such a good investment, you, you don't want to be sitting on him, you want to pick him up, get a couple of him, Brahimi apparently as well is quite cheap, he's a really nice investment, he's a winger, and wingers generally seem to rise up more in value just because they're a little bit more sought after, and they're, they're rarer as well. Um, but uh, he's also a great one because of the fact he links to loads of high-rated players in the Liga Nos. So definitely, definitely one I would recommend picking up right there. So we'll send him over to the club. And uh, I mean, there are loads and loads of other players. I would also recommend picking out some 81 and 82 rated cards just because for the footies nominees SBCs, which require kind of like a 78, 79 or 80 rated squad, depending on the player's rating, for those ones there, those cards will rise up again. So if you look on Footbin, it's just crazy how cheap some of these cards are. Let's look, for example, Brozovic is apparently just 500 coins. He's 500 coins. Well, he's not. He's a little bit more. 
Okay, apparently, well, he isn't 500 coins. Foot bin, taking a while to update, but if you guys just go through, you will find yourself some good players. Dante, yeah, look at Dante. There we go, 600 coins for an 81 rated card. That is very, very cheap, and you can bid on these cards as well and get them even cheaper. I mean, 500 coin bid there. I expect I will be able to pick him up, um, so that's a really nice, easy one there. Danny Garcia, that's another one. Again, he plays in a good league, uh, and uh, you can link him to lots of different people. Danny Garcia, wherever he is. Right here, that has another really, really nice investment. Look at that, 550, 500 coins. 500 coins for an 81 rated card. That is just such a good investment. Pick cards like this up, send them to your club, and you can't go wrong. You just can't go wrong. You will make guaranteed profit. It is as simple as that. Right now, these cards are so cheap because everyone's playing the World Cup mode, but as people start to win the World Cup and collect all the players, they're going to get bored of it. They're going to come back to the regular version of the Ultimate Team, especially with the new promos we're going to see. It just makes sense. Get cards like this and they will rise in value. I just completely guarantee it. So we've covered the gold cards. You've got high rated cards, 85s, 86s as well. Just check out that footbin link if you want to find some cards yourself to invest in. But special cards will also most likely be required, especially for some of those end of an era SBCs. So let's take a look at some of them. Again, using footbin, you can find the cheapest informs. You can find the cheapest kind of Halloween cards, Path of the Glory cards, Hero cards, whatever you want, you can find some really, really cheap players. So I'm going to quickly look up Informs right now and see what the cheapest card is. So right now, we've got 84 rated cards for about 12k. Uh, we've got 83s for a similar price too. So yeah, if we, if we look at 84s, the reason Informs are a tiny little bit increase in value, I mean, you could have got them for about 10 or 11k a couple of weeks ago, is because we haven't had Team of the Week recently because of the World Cup mode, so uh, there haven't really been many players getting packed. But if you look at 84s, you've got someone like El Yanusi, who's got a really nice card, 5-star skill moves, just, uh, just good stats all around. And you can get him an 84 rated card for about 12k, and I expect Informs are going to be required for these types of SBCs, so they're good ones to go with. And uh, yeah, if you look at him, you've got an 84 rated card there for 13k. Balotelli, that's a great investment. That is a very, very nice one if he's going for this type of, type of price. I mean, he's going for a similar price there. As you guys can see, 84, just over 13k. Oh, you've got Lozano. Wow. Lozano, one of the most overpowered players on this game. One of the most popular as well. He's going for 12k. He's going for 12k with this 84 rated card. That is a... Just a crazy, crazy good investment. You've got his 82 even cheaper, about 11k. You've got Tar, you've got Pereiro, Adebayor, Martinez, Kostic, Will Grigg even. So many different players that are really, really cheap right now. And if you look for players who just have really nice stats, like this Jonathan Tar card, although he is a little bit more expensive, that card's going to rise in value just when more people come back to the game and want to try out players like this. We're not going to be getting as many players in Team of the Week. Team of the Season's over. Players like this, people are going to look back and try out cards they haven't used before, so that is a nice one to pick up. You've got a few reasons that could make that card potentially rise in value. And informs aren't the only cards to invest in. You have got lots and lots of other ones. Hero cards, Man of the Match cards, even Team of the Season cards. I reckon Team of the Seasons will be required for the end of an era SBCs. They were last year, and I expect it will be the same this year. You've got the likes of Sigurdsson, Rodriguez, and Altador, all around discard price for 84 80 hero cards. Just to show you guys here, let's look at... Jose Altidore, the ex-Sunderland player, I actually think. I think he is, anyway. There's only one of his card on the market, so apparently not. That card is very, very rare. Let's go with uh, Sigurdsson, then. Again, it can. It's, it sometimes takes a while for, uh, for Footbin to load up. But as you guys can see, this card is a lot cheaper. You can probably get him. These cards are quite cheap, but yeah, like 15k. There's one there for 15k. That's actually quite a good deal. I mean, it's been on the market for a while, but that is a lot cheaper than any of the others available. These ones to watch cards, look at that. They're so cheap. Ones to watch cards, I reckon they could easily be required. As there's no use now for ones to watch cards on this game, no one needs them because they're not going to increase in value. So no one wants to buy them. And because of that, there's a big amount of them on the market, a large amount. And EA could easily just release an SBC that's going to require these cards, that's going to make them become more sought after, and will increase the demand for them. It just makes sense. It's something I could definitely see them doing. Looking at Team of the Season cards too, a lot of them are extremely cheap right now. You've got some super, super cheap cards, so let's take a look really. I mean, you've got the likes of Madison, Diego Hotter, for example, 30-ish K for them. You've got Mulgrew, he's 23k. Let's quickly look at him. Uh, you've got Vidra, who's 25k. You've got some really, really cheap cards. I'm actually not too sure why some of these cards are quite rare or going for that much, because, correct me if I'm wrong, but Team of the Season is not out anymore, and there aren't any SPCs. 
So I'm not sure why there's a demand for these players. Some of these players have actually gone really rare, like Caputo, for example, from the rest of the world, 84 rated, he's 70k. So that's a bit weird. Check your club if you've got, if you've got any of these blue guys, because they could go for a good amount. But there, you've got Pittman, he's like 25k, one of the cheap ones, and these guys could be good investments. So I remember last year, Team of the Seasons went to like 50 or 60k when the end of an era SBCs were released. So again, there's some good investments for you guys to focus on, as well as those gold cards. Depending on your budget, look at cards and pick them up. I don't have many coins at all because I've been spamming packs on the World Cup mode, which is why I've got the likes of Pele, Maradona, and Neymar, Messi, loads of good players on there. I've been having fun, but the downside is I don't really have many coins now for investments. But anyway, I thought I could help you guys out to get some investments that will hopefully, fingers crossed, make you a lot of profit. I mean, I really don't see why this isn't going to make you coins. We've got the footies promo coming up. It's guaranteed. We're going to have SBCs, and these players will be required. And right now, they're just so, so cheap. There's such a big supply of them because people have been opening packs. Very little demand as people aren't playing the game and there aren't any SBCs. It just makes sense that they'll rise up. So, hope you guys did enjoy the video. I know it's been quite a while since I uploaded a trading video or even just a regular version of FIFA Ultimate Team video. I've been focusing on the World Cup mode, I've been focusing on FIFA 19, all the hype around that. But I thought, a lot of you guys are subscribed for trading, so I've got to, got to give you guys what you want. I've got, got some trading content, and if this is something you'd like to see more, just leave a like on the video. If I see good sport in this video, I know that you guys like trading and want to see more trading. And I'll do more trading videos because I've been doing some World Cup videos and they haven't got too many views. So I'm not sure if that's something you guys really want to see or not. I think trading is probably what a lot of you are subscribed for. It's what I've built my viewer base on. So that is what I will try and get some, some more content out for you guys on. But uh, with FIFA 19 coming up as well, don't worry. As soon as that's out, you've got just bare trading content coming to you guys. Just, just stay tuned. But anyway, hope you guys enjoy and I'll catch you guys later. Leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Leave a comment down below to be entered into the FIFA 19 Ultimate Edition giveaway. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Take care.